Hey, hey, what's happening, folks? Welcome back to my continuing tutorial series covering the Raspberry Pi. I know it's been a long absence for me, but I've had a busy season at work and holiday traveling and so forth to deal with. But I'm back, and hopefully I can start bringing you more frequent videos in the coming months. Today I'm going to take a little step back uh, to installing the OS, which is why I'm calling this video Part 3B and not Part 8. Uh, we're going to quickly learn about a new bootloader that's called Berry Boot, and it's really easy, so stick around. Okay, so what is Berry Boot? Well, it's basically a bootloader that runs before your operating system, and Berry Boot takes care of managing multiple operating systems for you. So if you want to try out Open Elec, it's as simple as adding it from a menu, waiting for it to download, and then booting it up. If you want to try Raspbian or a lightweight uh, web server or something, you can also do that too, and you can also manage all of these different OS's and boot to them when you feel like it. Uh, so basically here's what you need to do. You need to get a blank SD card. I'd recommend at least a four gig or more. And if it's already formatted, you don't have to uh, do anything else. If you don't have any files on it that you want to keep, that's great. If not, the easiest way is probably to pop it in your digital camera real quick and format it. Or you can just use your card reader to format it with the disk utility on a Mac using uh, the MS-DOS FAT format or you can right click on your SD card in your Windows File Manager and choose Format. Uh, you can do quick or full, it doesn't really matter. However you want to do it, I'll leave it up to you. Just make sure that the card is empty and that you don't have any files on it that you want to keep because we are going to be erasing all of them. Okay, so once your card is ready, you need to go to sourceforge.net slash projects slash boot and download the boot zip file. And once you have the zip file saved on your hard drive, uh, find it on your hard drive somewhere and unzip it. And it doesn't really matter what program you use to unzip. You can use WinZip on Windows or the Finder works fine on the Mac. This process is pretty much the same regardless of whether you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux because we're not really doing any sort of um, preparation of the SD card. It's, we're just copying the files to it. So once you have all those files, copy the unzip files straight to your SD card. And if your unzip program uh, put the unzipped files into a folder, like uh, for example, Berry Boot dash, whatever the date is, uh, just make sure that you get the files within that folder to copy. Don't copy the folder itself, just the files listed in there like this. Okay, so you should have about 16 files on your SD card. If you formatted the card in your camera, you might also have a DCIM and a miscellaneous folder. You can safely delete those or you can leave them there. It doesn't really matter. If you delete on a Mac, just make sure you emptied the trash first. Otherwise, they're not really gone. Uh, they're just sort of hidden. Okay, now that you have all the files on your SD card, we are ready to boot. So at this point, you'll want to safely eject your card, put your card into your Pi, give it some power, and you should see a color test screen and then later some menus. And the first screen you're going to see uh, is one that allows you to set the display type to uh, overscan enabled or not. And if you see green borders at the top or the bottom, choose yes, otherwise select no. Uh, for networking, which is the next option here, you're probably going to want to choose wired. Uh, Wi-Fi is there for compatibility with other ARM mini computers and possibly um, some Wi-Fi USB adapters for the Pi, but I haven't tried those yet. Uh, choose your location and keyboard layout. And then on the next screen, uh, select the drive that you want to use for the operating system, which in this case is going to be the same SD card that we're running Barry Boot from. So choose the uh, MMCLK0 and blah, blah, blah option. And then choose uh, EXT4 with no trim, discard, and click Format. And this can take a couple of minutes while it's preparing your card. Uh, once that's done, I don't remember if it uh, reboots or not, but if it does, just wait for it to come back up. Next screen, you're going to get a menu with uh, an option to try a bunch of different OSs. Choose one that you're interested in, and uh, once you've chosen it, Berry Boot will go and download it and install it on your newly prepared SD card. Once the download has finished uh, and you're finished adding an OS, you can exit. Uh, or you can add other OS's in there if you want to, if you want to add multiple ones to try. 
Uh, once you've exited, the Pi will reboot and then by default will run the OS that you chose. And if you've installed multiple OSs, you can choose a different OS to boot uh, by default. And that's about it. It's that easy. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. More Raspberry Pi tutorials are coming soon, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you.